Welcome to the Elon Musk Signal Channel. In the process of developing a heavy lift rocket like Starship, it would be naive to expect everything to go perfectly right from the first launch. Starship, currently the most powerful rocket in the world, has not been immune to setbacks during its testing and launch phases. However, surprisingly, even failed test attempts have yielded valuable lessons. This is the crux of SpaceX's rapid iteration philosophy. Instead of prolonged meticulous design, SpaceX focuses on rapidly building prototypes, pushing them to their limits, learning from failures, iterating on subsequent models. Through this approach, SpaceX has made significant strides ahead of traditional competitor. So, after Starship Flight 4, what major upgrades does Elon Musk and SpaceX have in store for this giant spacecraft? Let's explore right now. In the journey to conquer the stars, Starship has faced numerous challenges, including severe explosions. Yet these setbacks have provided valuable lessons for SpaceX to refine Starship and move closer to its ultimate goal. Clearest evidence lies in the achievement of orbital rocket launches. While Blue Origin, a company with a longer operational history than SpaceX, has yet to achieve any orbital launches, SpaceX has succeeded multiple times with Falcon 9 and now with Starship. The recent four Starship test flights, two achieving orbit and safe sea landings, demonstrate outstanding progress. However, the journey to space exploration still presents many challenges. SpaceX continues to analyze data from test flights to improve Starship, aiming to transform it into a vehicle that will eventually carry humans to Mars. As I mentioned in the opening of the video, SpaceX employs a method known as rapid iteration, they focus on quickly building prototypes, testing them until they fail, solving any issues that arise, and then building a new prototype to repeat the process. While this approach may seem costly and risky, it has proven extremely effective for Starship, as evidenced by successful orbital launches with Falcon 9 and now Starship. Despite achieving significant milestones, Starship remains in development, and SpaceX must continue testing to fully realize its potential. A prime example of SpaceX's rapid iteration approach is the significant changes implemented on Starship 30. Firstly, the heat shield. We all know the critical role heat shields play in Starship's reusability and human transport capabilities, protecting the spacecraft from extreme temperatures during Earth re-entry. However, in previous test videos, some heat shields were observed to malfunction, fall off, and shatter. To address this issue, SpaceX made substantial changes on Starship 30. Initially, Starship's heat shield system comprised around 18,000 tiles made of aluminum and silica fibers in various shapes, notably around the nose cone. These tiles were attached to the spacecraft's hull with fasteners and had a white thermal protection layer underneath. Recently, SpaceX removed some of these heat tiles to add a metal layer, replacing the white thermal insulation. They then installed new heat shields with double the durability of the original tiles. These heat-resistant materials are only placed in areas experiencing the highest temperatures during re-entry, are not reusable, and may need replacement after each flight. These improvements illustrate SpaceX's ongoing efforts to optimize the performance and safety of Starship, showcasing their commitment to refining Starship's design based on data and experience from previous test flights. It also demonstrates flexibility in adjusting designs to address issues encountered during testing. Next is the solution for the control surfaces. Control surfaces play a crucial role in managing Starship during flight, particularly during re-entry. During the fourth test flight, it was discovered that the positioning of the control surfaces was not optimal for the spacecraft's heating process. Starship employs a complex control surface system where the AFT flap primarily controls the spacecraft's pitch angle. When extended, the AFT flap increases drag and pushes up the spacecraft's tail, helping maintain an angle of attack of approximately 65 to 70 degrees relative to the ground. This prevents the engines from directly facing hot airflow. The forward flaps serve a secondary role, mainly used for roll adjustment and fine-tuning pitch angles. During re-entry at high temperatures, the air typically remains stable and uniform. This means that with precise operation, control surfaces only need minimal adjustment to maintain the desired angle of attack as the spacecraft descends into the more turbulent atmosphere. 
control system will need to be more actively engaged to cope with changing conditions. However, during the fourth test flight, control surfaces experienced significant oscillations early in the heating process, indicating an unexpected anomaly not accounted for in initial calculations. To address this issue, engineers proposed moving the forward flaps further aft along the spacecraft's body in a straighter position and adjusting the flap positions to minimize turbulence. Notably, for the upcoming fifth test flight, SpaceX plans to test a type of flexible seal, possibly a fabric tube inserted into gaps to maintain tightness as the flaps move. These improvements aim to optimize airflow and thermal efficiency during atmospheric re-entry. Thirdly, addressing the solution for the Raptor engines. The Raptor engines are the heart of Starship, providing the necessary thrust for launch and maneuvering the spacecraft. However, in previous test flights, the Raptor engines encountered several issues, including malfunctions and explosions. The root cause of these incidents lies in fuel system blockages caused by the combination of frost and carbon dioxide. Why is there the appearance of frost in the fuel? Let's analyze a bit. Starship's fuel consists of liquid oxygen and liquid methane. When burned, they produce water and carbon dioxide gas. In the extreme cold conditions of the liquid fuel, water freezes at zero degrees Celsius, while carbon dioxide freezes at a higher point around minus 57 degrees. These ice crystals easily clog fuel lines, affecting engine operation. So what's the solution to this problem? Elon Musk has mentioned adding an ice strainer or ice catcher to the fuel system. Although details about its design and operation are not yet clear, promises to be a breakthrough in eliminating frost, ensuring smooth operation for Starship. Additionally, upgrades to the valve system are planned to enhance reliability and increase engine ignition pressure. Furthermore, SpaceX is implementing longer-term changes to the Raptor engine design, including eliminating parts such as bolts, flanges, and gaskets, and replacing them with welds, integrating cooling systems, and auxiliary cooling systems. These improvements aim to increase reliability, efficiency, and engine reusability. It can be seen that Starship represents a significant leap in aerospace technology. SpaceX's rapid development approach has driven innovation and allowed them to achieve substantial progress in a short time. With SpaceX's continuous improvements and commitment to innovation, Starship has the potential to revolutionize space travel and open up new possibilities for human exploration and development in space. What are your thoughts on these improvements? In your opinion, what further innovations might SpaceX pursue in the future? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And those were the noteworthy details from today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications for more exciting videos on the Elon Musk Signal channel. Goodbye, and see you again.